Our My Life guest this afternoon is mother of four, Christine Blackledge. Christine is from Worthing and she's being hailed as an inspiration after transforming her career in just 18 months. Yes, in the last 18 months, she's launched a series of new businesses. She uh, now runs her own consultation service for startup recruitment agencies. She's introduced a care standards program for a group of UK nursing homes and she has just started a will writing service service. Uh, on top of all that, she's also fulfilling her childhood dream of getting a law degree um, and she's currently studying law at Brighton University. So my first question really had to be, how on earth do you manage to fit it all in? The secret is, is that I actually get up at four o'clock in the morning, <gasps> Monday to Friday. I make sure I go to bed at 9pm. So wow. I'm also passionate about what I do. So I enjoy what I actually do and that gives me the encouragement and the, the motivation. Wow. There and must helping be the, people as well. There must be the odd day, though, when the alarm goes off at four o'clock and you think, no. No, I don't actually feel that way. Really? Because I'm so passionate, because I've seen the effects of things not being done correctly. So for me, I'm passionate. I want things to be right for people. Let's go right back to the beginning. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a bit about your childhood. Yes, of course. Um, happy memories growing up? Yes, very happy memories. My father was a very strong working man um, in Leicester, who was a foreman, and he always brought me up, and my mother, very strong people, very hard working. And they've that's always, where you get the work ethic that's from. That's right, yes. And they've always brought me up, you know, to say there's, you know, whenever I felt sort of weak, they always said there's no such word as you can't keep doing what you need to do. It all really started from when I was 18, if I can take you back to when I was 18 from where my passions really started from. And, you know, I was working for a law firm in, in New York, very, very high class law firm. And I really wanted to do law back then. But unfortunately, I got into a negative relationship and there was an earthquake and a hurricane at the same time in mm. one month and that gave me the, the boot to sort of move away from New York and go back to Nottingham, which is where I was born and grown up at. And get out of that relationship. To get out of that relationship, mm. yes, yeah. yes, definitely. So that was the turning point, really, for you? That certainly was, and it made me, at that point, when I was 18, I wanted to be a lawyer, but unfortunately, because I left the, the States, I couldn't continue with that training. career path. Sure. So I came to the UK and I was working nine to five, doing night shifts as well, working and in pubs. And what were you doing? I was doing, uh, working for Reed Employment, doing temp work, typing, paralegal, secretarial skills, receptionist, and I was obviously working at night time. And um, I had a baby when I was 23 years old and that was a, a negative relationship but the the baby was a positive out of yeah. that negative relationship tough though 23 years of age oh definitely baby and not in, not in a happy relationship yeah. and, not, and, not easy. and we had to sort of face homelessness as well so we went into a shelter but that's fine because it makes makes me strong i had to do something about my life yeah. like how, every other woman out there how long were you in the shelter for for about three weeks Gosh. So I've made sure that I was able to get out of that. Yeah, how shelter. did how did you get out of that? I managed to get out of that because I started to do three jobs, because I didn't understand about um, that people can claim benefits because my parents have never claimed any form of benefit. Moving to the states, they definitely don't. So I wasn't aware of claiming mm. benefits. So. Again, I thought, right, okay, I need to get three jobs. So my auntie actually helped look after my, my little boy while I was able to go out and work. And then I was able to get my own place. And then it all started then. I then met my husband when my son was three months old and we got married and I've got a wonderful relationship. We've been together for 25 years, over 25 years, actually. Brilliant. Where did and you meet? We met in Nottingham. It was um, at... 
it was called a, uh, it was a discotheque. It's called Grab a Granny Night on a Wednesday. <laughs> Ritzies. <laughs> so that was hilarious. <laughs> I was in the grandma. <laughs> obviously not, obviously not. And your little boy, how old, how old is he now? He's 26 now. He's just uh, finishing his degree at oh. Portsmouth University. I've got three other boys, of course. They must be extremely proud of their Oh, their definitely. They can't believe me. They just think I'm... Sometimes they think I'm nuts because I'm getting up at four <laughs> o'clock in the morning when it's all quiet and and peaceful, and that's when I find that I'm most productive during that time. Wow! So yeah, yeah, I find that a little bit nuts as well. Just <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it, but good luck to you. <laughs> This afternoon, we're hearing the live story of Worthing uh, mother of four, Christine Blackledge. Um, for years, she was an employee, but soon got fed up of working for other people. And so over the past 18 months, with the help of a business mentor, a chap called David Lee, she has managed to turn her career around and has launched a series of new businesses, um, as well as studying for a law degree at Brighton University. One of those new businesses is a will writing service service and she explains that she was inspired to set that up due to events within her own family. My father-in-law and my mother-in-law they fell ill and I was nursing them and then it made me realise once my mother-in-law passed away she um, did, a, did a will but unfortunately it didn't protect her as fully as what it should have done so it caused so much devastation within families you know generations of families can be destroyed by this type of thing not being done in the correct manner to the person's wishes etc because uh, of the and wording she'd used it was the what it was is that it should have been protected whereby she had um the family independence act say for example 1975 that anyone can come and make a claim on the estate However, if there was a legacy put in place, then that would have that would have stopped that stopped right. caveats coming in. For for example, so five years fighting a will, forty six thousand pounds mm. is quite expensive. Gosh. So that's what really yeah. pushed me into that direction because I wouldn't want anyone else to go through to that go suffering, through that. and that's what pushed me and made me so passionate about becoming yeah. a, a professional will writer because and that's the thing isn't it wills can cause yeah. so many problems within families Heartaches, if, yeah, yeah if, if, the, if the deceased wishes are not clear right. cut yes. then then it does leave it's the way open for, for dispute. interpretation definitely yeah. so that's what pushed me to sort of get the qualifications that I'm I, I'm currently doing a step advanced will preparation but also I'm at University of Brighton studying law and I found out in January 2013 that I was going to university and I was so pleased I felt like I was a child again yeah what, what, <laughs> what is it like going to university as a mature student it's really I really enjoy it I, sometimes I feel like um, it's really nice because there's a few I call them oldies because that's where my age I'm 49 obviously so I really enjoy it. I take it all in. I really do take it all in because I feel like I've been given a, a new lease of life. I feel like I'm the 18-year-old that's going to university even though I'm 49, but I'm able to really take things in and understand things a bit better than what I probably would have done when I was 18. Maybe appreciate it a bit more. Yeah, definitely. Than perhaps you do when, you, when, you're, when you're a bit younger. Well, sat next to you is your business mentor, uh, David Lee. Um, what was your first impression of Christine? When she was very quiet. What I noticed, she would diligently take notes and didn't say too much. And uh, she was like the dark horse that uh, took us all by surprise. But as you can see from Christine talking, she's got a lot of story, a lot of life experience in there. And when I started realising what she had in there, I could see it more clearly and appreciate it than what she gave herself credit for. Mm. And uh, all I did was extract out of Christine what she already had and help her develop and systemise what she wanted to do. And it is such a pleasure to hear her today talking to you because the Christine you're seeing today was not exactly like the one we met 18 months ago, was it, Christine? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So you've changed a lot in the in the past 18 months. I've become more confident, you know, um, in terms of 
because if you're videoing yourself you have to sort of get used to seeing yourself on a regular basis and you know just making sure that you're doing your videos the way you want them to look like rather than picking up on your habits and faults and things so yeah that's good and I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? People often have these ideas, particularly when it comes to business. But it's one thing having that idea in your head. It's quite another thing actually putting it on paper and actually making it happen. And realising that you have the potential to achieve that. Now, Christine is like many people that I've met, and a lot of women have got this potential. And yet we've got a report here that says a lot of women are doing tasks where they could actually do more. For example, with the life experience that Christine teens had they just don't know how to go out and what steps to do next and if more could be just like the example we see of Christine they could achieve so much more Christine Blackledge from Worthing and her business mentor David Lee